Nolagen here in the Bywater of New Orleans at Elizabeth's. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. Join me on a restaurant review video for a culinary adventure for our best burger search in the New Orleans area. Today we're visiting Elizabeth's Restaurant, which offers lunch, brunch, and breakfast options for their very popular dining experience. Elizabeth's Restaurant is located in New Orleans' Bywater neighborhood at 601 Gallier Street, which is at the intersection of Charters and Gallier Streets, which is about one and a half miles and four minutes away from the New Orleans French Quarter. As we explore some of the best restaurants in the New Orleans area, this New Orleans food vlog will give you a taste of the local neighborhood dining experience. New Orleans might just be the home of some of the best hamburgers in the USA, in my opinion. Come along and join me as I savor the flavors of this burger inside this lunch, brunch, and breakfast joint to discover for yourself if it's the best burger in the USA. So grab a burger and join me for an Eat With Me adventure on our travel vlog. My last visit was here back in 2011, and this place has changed quite substantially since those days. They used to offer dinner, they don't do that anymore, and also they have one of those speed ticket cameras around here, so watch out for that. Now, let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out, and whoa, this place is way different than it used to be back in 2011. Looks like they even have t-shirts and hats for the tourists. And a whole lot more stuff decorating this place. It used to only be the first floor, but now they've added a whole second floor to the whole experience. This place has certainly changed quite substantially from my last visit. So this is actually only my second visit because, uh, let's just say my visit in 2011 did not quite impress me. And I got the burger then. We're getting a different kind of burger this time. So we're going up the stairs to the second floor here. And here we are. This is my first view of the second floor. So this is pretty much a whole new restaurant experience to me as, whoa, I have uh, never even been upstairs here. And it's all brand new to me. So here's the bar here. They have quite a nice selection of many adult beverages uh, in this area. Lots of tables and chairs throughout. They have quite a pig theme going on throughout this whole restaurant though. And then some of our older antique signs everywhere as well. Now, um, I'm not quite sure why they love the pig so much here. They are obsessed with the praline bacon. My last visit here, I got the burger and said no praline bacon. And they said I had to have the praline bacon. So I threw that bacon off to my dining companion to eat as I only eat the uh, duck and the cow bacon myself. Don't eat that pig bacon. No, no, no. Keep me with the cow and the duck bacon. All right, let's check out their specials menu. So we have crabby poached eggs hollandaise, boudin and eggs, poached eggs topped with crawfish etouffee over fried boudin ball, pecan waffle, red velvet waffle, carne asada hash, bacon wrapped scallops, catfish plate, shrimp and grits with tasso, beef broth, fried green tomato cheese on wheat with roumelade and provolone. Now let's check out their regular menu here and see what we're gonna get today. So we have appetizers and small plates with praline bacon, fried chicken livers and pepper jelly, old-fashioned kala, crispy Korean Brussels sprouts, biscuit and gravy, boudin balls with Creole mustard sauce, onion rings, fried green tomatoes, add boiled shrimp, entrees, choice of grits or hash browns, avocado toast and eggs, bananas foster French toast, eggs Elizabeth, redneck eggs, duck waffle, campfire steak and eggs, French toast burrito, chicken and waffle, eggs Florentine, country breakfast, bayou breakfast, smoked salmon and brie grilled cheese, veggie scramble, basic breakfast, two eggs any style, grits or hash browns, choice of biscuit, wheat, rice, sourdough, gluten-free toast, add praline, chicken sausage, breakfast sausage, bacon or grilled ham, a la carte, waffle with seasonal berries and whipped cream, Dr. Bob's plain waffle, biscuit, wheat, sourdough, gluten-free or rye toast, hash browns or cheese grits, two eggs any style, side of avocado, grilled ham, bacon, breakfast sausage, or chicken sausage, plain avocado on sourdough toast, plain French toast, country gravy, fresh fruit. On the next page, we have po' boys, burgers, and more. All sandwiches come with a side. 
We have Elizabeth's Dream Burger, Prawling Bacon and Blue Cheese Sauce, Oyster Po' Boy, Hamburger, add cheese, cheddar, blue provolone, pepper jack, or Swiss, and you can add bacon or extra cheese, avocado or grilled onions, shrimp or catfish po' boy, N.O. hot fried chicken sandwich, smoked turkey sandwich, fried chicken strips, sides are french fries, sweet potato fries, grit fries, coleslaw, side salad or potato salad, greens and gumbo, house salad, mixed greens, and lemongrass vinaigrette, add grilled or fried shrimp or chicken, fried oyster and spinach salad with herb saint dressing, chicken and sausage gumbo, cup or bowl, dessert, ooey gooey cake, lemon chest pie, pecan pie, or bread pudding. Then we have non-alcoholic drinks with Elizabeth's Dark Roast Coffee, Elizabeth's Breakfast Blend Coffee, Cold Brew Iced Coffee with Chicory, Assorted Hot Teas, Sweet and Unsweet Tea, Lemonade, Refillable Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Bottled Barks Root Beer, Assorted Juices, Apple, Orange, Cranberry, Pink Grapefruit, or Pineapple, Whole Milk. Then we have cocktails with House Made Bloody Mary, Virgin Mary, Mimosa, Half Bottle of Nistengut, Irish Coffee, Iced or Hot Spike Coffee. Choose one. Disarono, Kahula, Bailey's, or Jack Daniels, a morning margarita, Pimps Cup Original Sprite, Pimps Cup Ginger Beer, Pimps Cup Champagne, Jalapeno Pineapple Margarita, Espresso Martini, Double Screwdriver, Cosmopolitan, Brandy Milk Punch. Then we have beer with a Beta Amber, a Beta Strawberry, a Beta Purple Haze, Bud Light, Coors Light, Coors Banquet, Fallberg Lager, Gnarly Barley Juicifer IPA, Urban South Holy Roller IPA, Urban South Paradise Park, High Noon Vodka Seltzer, High Noon Tequila Seltzer. So I ordered my burger dressed, but no mayo, and there's mayo slathered all over it, unfortunately. So, ugh. Now, maybe I could have sent it back, but uh, these days with the food costs and prices of everything, I'm gonna suffer through and eat the disgusting mayonnaise. And now instead of my high holy condiment of mustard, pure, on top of it, it's gonna be all mixed together and gross with that mayo, so I'm less than happy at the moment. Now, overall, this is a pretty juicy, good burger, I have to say, and would just be way better minus that disgusting, gross mayo stuff. Some people love mayo, I'm not one of those people. And I'm also a little disappointed they don't have Creole mustard here, as I think it should be mandatory for any New Orleans restaurant to have Creole mustard. For whatever reason, they didn't have it here, at least during my visit. So, the burger, Minus the mayo would probably be really fantastic. Even with the mayo, it's still a good burger. Uh, the bun is very nice. The meat bun ratio is doing quite nicely. And uh, the ooey gooey cheesiness is not exactly ooey gooey. Uh, it is still a decent little cheese flavor to it. And uh, I have to say that all of the toppings and other ingredients are staying together pretty decently well right now. And uh, we're getting down to the last bite there. So now we have some french fries here. And these are sweet potato fries. And they've got a nice little crunchy crispness to them. They are actually pretty darn good sweet potato fries. And unlike a lot of the others I've tried, they're not mushy. They're good and crisp. So I've got some third meal down here. Ooh, a little meat, a little tomato, a little uh, piece of some extra avocado that I got in there as well. Ooh, yeah. So there's a uh, you know, nice little extra bonus salad here. It's not a whole lot of stuff overall that fell out of it considering the uh, sheer amount of toppings that were on here. And uh, it's always good to have a little tiny bit of a third meal to snack on to balance out the whole meal experience. Now we're gonna get back to the last sweet potato fry here. And ooh, nice, crunchy, very nice and tasty. So just like I totally destroyed this burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for my cheeseburger with provolone, avocado, and sweet potato fries and an iced tea was $26.37 before tip. Whoa, not that long ago, that would get me a three course meal at Commander's Palace with 25 cent martinis. So thanks so much to everybody at Elizabeth's restaurant. Now I'm two for two here though, as both of my experiences here, I didn't get what I wanted when I ordered. So it seems that uh, 
it is a little challenging here to get stuff the way you want it your way here. Just expect it to get it their way, I guess. Now, thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.